all right hello good morning good evening and good night i hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a high yield dividend approach versus a low yield dividend approach we're going to compare the two i'm going to give my insights i'm going to start by saying look i'm a little biased i like the high yield investing just because i'm able to get a lot of cash flow immediately and then reinvest into whatever else i want but what we're going to do is we're going to go over some high yields, some low yields. I'm gonna talk about some benefits, some dif uh, disadvantages about each method. And what we'll do is we'll run some numbers and from there, we'll just see, you know, how much monthly cash flow we can generate and, you know, fun stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, please do watch this video to the end. I wanna say we just passed 300 subscribers. Congratulations, everyone. I'm so grateful you're here. 291 subscribers in the last 28 days. That is fantastic. And we just hit 5,000 views. I think we are definitely at a little bit more than that. Let's see, cause we're hitting like 2K views on the daily. Let's go guys. 9K, absolutely fantastic. I know this is not what you guys came to see, but I love sharing the results with you because it just is awesome. Awesome results. Awesome. Okay, but today what we're doing is we're talking about high yields with SMHB as our high yield dividend stock with a dividend yield of 30%. And then I'm also going to compare it to Johnson & Johnson with a dividend yield of 2.88%. Now, looking at the high yield, there's not much to say about it. You know what? It, the name's a little daunting. E-Tracks, two times monthly paying, leverage US small cap high dividend ETN. So this is an ETN. ETN is a little bit more risky than an ETF because it relies not only on the underlying asset, which is um, the small cap, US small cap stocks, but it also relies on the issuing fund, which I'm assuming is E-Tracks for SMH, SMHB right here. So you could see it pays a 30% dividend yield, which is pretty fantastic, has a very tiny market cap. And that's generally what's going to happen with a lot of these high yielding stocks. They're going to have a small market cap like this one at 26 million. When compared to a large cap company like Johnson & Johnson, J&J, &J, which has a market cap of $430 billion. That is massive. What you are paying with Johnson & Johnson is kind of that security. I know the yield is not that great at 2.88%, but what I do want to show you is their dividend growth rates. So as you can see here on kind of like the middle of your screen now, you got the three year, five year, 10, up, all the way up to 20 years. And you can see it's been paying a dividend for 62 years. So unlike SM, SMBH right here, it is definitely more, I guess, stable and long term. And you can see that their five-year dividend growth is about 5%, and their 20-year dividend growth is about 9%. To give Johnson & Johnson the benefit of the doubt, we'll say 10%. But you know what the thing is here? 10% on that 2% dividend, you might be making, you might work your way up to eventually a 30% dividend, but why wait to get your 30% dividend when you can receive that right now? When you reinvest your dividends with Johnson & Johnson, you only get 2.88%. When you receive dividends and reinvest with SMHB, you receive 30% right off the bat, compounding your money a lot faster. That is my real reason for investing in high yielding stocks. Now, what I want to do is I want to compare some dividend yields. So starting with Johnson & Johnson, 2.88%. Let's go crazy. What we're doing is we got a million dollars. What do we got here? We got a hundred thousand, one more zero, a million dollars. Monthly contribution, we'll say ten thousand dollars i like big numbers because we want to make big money okay over 30 years estimated interest rate we're going to say about uh 2.88 percent compounded annually and let's just see what we get what's this here desire okay no we don't need that 2.88 percent we're going to calculate that over 30 years so you're going to invest about 4.6 million and then you'll receive about seven We'll say eight million dollars from johnson and johnson at 2.88 percent return this is not accounting though the growth gains from johnson and johnson honestly i'd say they give a compound compounded annual interest rate of about let's say 12 percent let's be more than generous here so a four thousand or four million six hundred thousand dollar investment turns at roughly 60 million dollars which is absolutely fantastic but what we're going to do here is we're going to go to SMHB. And as you can see, I pulled up their max because it's been going down. It goes down probably about on average, maybe like 
15% per year. But if you were to buy back in COVID, you'd actually be up. And that's what I love doing. I love finding high yielding dividend stocks at their lows. So let's just say, for example, we're sticking with this 30% because that's what it pays. And you bought at the low, you'd actually be up. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick with this 30 percent dividend rate as you can see johnson and johnson made 60 million well you know what? we actually at 3.6 billion not million billion so you can absolutely see the difference in that massive massive dividend yield and that's why i kind of like to invest in high yielding stocks is because you see that cash flow immediately you don't have to wait for anything like johnson and johnson you have to wait a bunch of years in order for it just to kind of like really see the signs and the differences in your monthly income but with stocks like smhb you could see it almost immediately i hope you guys did enjoy that video it's just a little comparison between a high dividend payer and a low dividend payer with a little bit more growth i hope you guys did enjoy this video subscribe if you haven't yet done so we are growing page new subscribers every i wouldn't say every minute but every hour we get new subscribers so please do subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video take care